begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this, uh, you know, important appointment with the Lord in this celebration of the Eucharist. The word Eucharist comes from a Greek word, Eucharistia, which means thanksgiving. We have reached at this time properly to say thank you through the celebration of the Eucharist. Thanks also to the Lord for making it possible that we meet here to celebrate the 40 years of Africa Faith and Justice Network. We would like also to say thank you to each and every one who has made this possible. Being human beings, we are also weak. We now turn to the Lord and ask the Lord to forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to the joy of everlasting life. Amen.
the Lord. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray at all times go before us and follow after and make us all always determined to carry out good works as you have done with Africa Faith and Justice Network in these last 40 years. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples 
the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we have looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. second reading. The second reading is taken from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 12 to 14, 19 to 20. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. 
Still, it is kind of you to share in my distress. My God will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever. Amen. Amen. Seigneur Jésus Christ ouvre à sa lumière les yeux de notre cœur pour que nous, pour que nous percevions l'espérance que donne son appel. Alléluia. without a wedding garment. But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of children. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All the time. What a joy 
It is for us to gather around the altar of the Lord in this day in order to give thanks to God for the 40 years of Africa Faith and Justice Network. And the reads, the liturgy we have taken today is the one of the 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. So these are the readings you will hear in all the Catholic churches from today, the Vigil, and tomorrow. And when I was asked to preside over the Eucharist, I said, let's leave the readings of the day. And at a certain moment I said, why did I say so? Because there may be no connection without our celebration of the 40 years. But allow me just to present a context in which I want to break one or two words in order to nourish us in this celebration. We know that among the people of Israel, there were others who were living in tough times. And these were people who were cultivating the land and those who were taking care of their animals. And those who were cultivating found themselves in the areas which were rocky, and you know, it's not so easy to cultivate those parts. And the other part, which was fertile, lying along the Mediterranean Sea and the other parts, it was in the hand of rich land grabbers or land owners. So these ones who were sweating all the time, working so hard, one of the things which would bring for them joy is when there would have been a party, a feast, as we had among, among the people of Prophet Isaiah, he said, there would have been this, uh, you know, feast organized on the mountain with delicious meat, wines, and all that. That would have brought joy to their hearts. So the prophet told them, there will come a time when God himself is going to organize a feast on this mountain, the mountain of Jerusalem. And in that feast, he will invite everybody. No one will be excluded. Come and feast together with the Lord. So years went by. Maybe after over a hundred years, nothing was happening. And the people of Israel were always asking themselves, when will this time of that great feast happen? We would like to be among them. And that's why Jesus, in the gospel of today, he comes up and he picks that, you know, promise which was made that there would be a feast and everybody would be happy. And what happens in our world today is not everybody is at a feast. Not everybody is at this wedding banquet. There are others who are left out, either on purpose or because of some different circumstances. And now, what happened was, God decided to send people to this feast. And he says, I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to be present at this feast. Go, call the others. They started giving excuses. Oh, I have this to do. Oh, I have the other one to do and everything. They were not ready. And for us as members of Africa Faith and Justice Network, we are here 40 years later just to say the promise of God was really to make everybody be happy without living in injustice, without living maybe in situations of war, without living all other, neg other negative forces. And how many of we have come? For 40 years, 
African faith and justice network has been saying, we would like to make this world a better place where everybody is happy. So, we go out in the name of women empowerment. We go out to see that there is no more trafficking in human beings, trafficking children, abuses, and all that. 40 years later, the issues seem to be multiplied. And this is nothing else but as we saw in the scriptures of today, the promise God had made was that everybody should be happy and be at this feast and enjoy. Then some of the people of Israel began telling themselves, when is this going to happen? Is it meant for this world or the next one? So they were there doubting, and God keeps his word. And through Africa Faith and Justice Network, God is keeping this word to say, the ones who have accepted to come, and today we celebrate together, maybe we still have to work very hard for 40 more years, 50 more years, 100 more years, but with one mission to make the world in which we live a better place, a happier place, other than just sitting there crossing our arms and thinking that nothing can happen. Thanks for being here on this 40th anniversary and thanks also for the others who have gone ahead and now they become our intercessors. And together in issues of justice, in issues of creating this network, in issues of being touched as Africans and as people who carry also Africa in their heart, let us together walk in the light of what St. Daniel Koboli, the founder of my religious order, when he went to Africa in 1850, 1862, he found out that a lot had to be done in order to empower the people on the ground. He said, let's save Africa with Africa. But that meant, let us empower these people. So that was in the 1860s, 1870s, with other missionary religious founders, like Cardinal Lavigerie and uh, Comboni and uh, the one of SMA and all that, they gave their time for Africa. In 1900, we had one million Catholics on the whole continent of Africa. And today, as I speak, 100 years after, we are 236 million Catholics. Be empowered through the example of Africa Faith and Justice Network to carry that light, that seed of the happiness to everybody, not only in the continent, but all over the world. And this will be what will give joy to the others who are being trampled upon, whose dignity, since we are made in the image of God, that dignity is not respected. And may we ask the Lord to make us convince more of the others who are giving excuses to jump on board. So that it be, they talk of, Maybe we could get some business communities in Africa who believe in our cause. Let's do so. Those are the ones who are not here. They are not there for the party. And if they were there, I think our capacity of influencing the others to be happy would be even better. And I want to congratulate Africa Faith and Justice Network that with the work of advocacy, with the work of transformation of this world in which we live, in the world of building capacity, let's not be discouraged. May God bless you. Amen. Let us rise up and sing together that one faith which binds us together.
and we still would like to entrust the future to you. In a very spontaneous way, we open our hearts. And when there is a thought, a petition, a prayer, which we formulate and would like to raise up and put in God's hands, let us freely do so. life started. Let us praise the God of our ancestors for Africa. Let us pray for more life in Africa. Let us pray for more inspiration, better leadership, gratitude. Let us pray for more engaging commitment. Let us pray for our past our present and our future. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours, our intentions of today's Mass for the 40th anniversary of uh, Africa Faith and Justice Network may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all us. Accept, O Lord, the, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. to the Lord and on behalf of FGN, let us raise our hands up and really give this glory to Him. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Make holy therefore this is we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring heart the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, all the clergy and the people of God. Remember also your servants, all the people who started every day of who come before us, all that you call from this world, grant them who were united with your son in a death like his, maybe also one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of our guiding and mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are all brothers and sisters before because we have God who sent Jesus Christ to unite us as members of one family. Let us now pray the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil of Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, especially the evil of being selfish, of causing wars, and all negative things. Graciously grant peace in our days. Grant peace to countries that really need it. Grant peace to Jerusalem, because this was the mountain on which you wanted your feast to take place, and today it is not that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and anxieties as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, which are many, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your church peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other that sign of peace for which we are living. <laughs>
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you have done the Bible, but I will stay with you and then my shall be We pray again to the Lord. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. God is great. All, All the time, time. All the time. God is I just want to take this opportunity again just to ask all of us to give a round of applause to the fire. No, 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 no. As you can see, the joy continues. We are very grateful. We praise the Lord with all our bodies. Yeah. Of course, maybe language um, some of us do not understand, but we are giving praise to God. Amen. One day of the to continue and be able to praise God through your voices and again thank you very much. Je viens ajouter ma voix à celle de Père Barthélemy pour dire merci. Il a un saint africain, Saint Augustin, qui dit c'est lui qui chante oui deux fois. Mais celui qui chante et anime très bien, chante dix fois. <laughs> Merci. Merci. I just say thanks to the choir and in the light of an African saint, St. Augustine, who say, one who sings prays twice. But one who sings and animates nicely prays ten times. <laughs> so thanks for helping us to pray ten times.
Wow. 